The gut and the skin may seem like separate systems, but they are closely linked. This fascinating connection between the gut and the skin is known as the gut-skin axis. Let's dive in. Did you know that your skin is the largest organ of the human body? Not to mention it has not one, but multiple different roles in the body. Just like our gut has its own microbiome, our skin also has a microbiome that helps to keep our skin healthy and plays a role in our immune system. What do we mean by microbiome? A microbiome is a community of microbes that live together and work in harmony to keep the skin healthy and thriving. This microbiome is important for skin health because it helps to stop potential pathogens from entering the skin and helps to maintain its integrity. The skin microbiome may be affected by a range of factors such as age, genetics, hormones, stress, the climate we live in, hygiene, skincare products, and much more. The gut microbiome is the community of microbes living in our gut. The gut microbiome is also affected by a range of factors like sleep, exercise, stress, medications, and what we put on our plate. Research suggests that there are some types of microbes that are associated with good health and others that are associated with poor health or certain disease states. The balance of these microbes affects many systems in our body and contributes to overall health. One of those systems is, of course, the skin. So what are some of the ways that you can help protect your skin and your gut microbiome? Take care of your gut microbiome with a healthy gut diet. This means crowding out your meals with lots of colourful prebiotic plant foods like vegetables, legumes, fruits, nuts, seeds and whole grains. Foods with probiotics like yoghurt and kefir may also provide additional benefit. Both the gut and the skin microbiome are influenced by stress hormones and inflammation which may disrupt the balance in our microbiomes. Getting enough beauty sleep and managing stress may help to reduce stress hormones and inflammation. As an added bonus, during sleep, the body goes into repair mode, rejuvenating and healing damaged cells, including your skin. And don't forget the basics of skin hygiene. Washing your face regularly, especially after exercise, is important to keep the bad bugs at bay and away. When choosing a cleanser, look for a product that will support the skin's microbiome and not strip away the skin's natural oils. Avoid ingredients such as sulfates and alcohol, as these may be too harsh on the skin barrier, stripping away some natural oils. Some ingredients like parabens and fragrances may irritate the skin or cause disruption to hormones when absorbed via the skin. After cleansing, the next step is to nourish your skin with a moisturizer. And moisturizers aren't just for people with dry or dehydrated skin they can also benefit those with oily or acne-prone skin. Look for a good quality moisturizer with hydrating and nourishing ingredients to help keep the skin barrier strong. In our free skin health program, we take you through Skin Anatomy 101, as well as more on how to nourish your skin with what you eat, how to master your skin hygiene, and ingredients to look out for when choosing your skincare products. Thanks for watching. If you have any concerns about your individual skin, it's best to see a healthcare professional so they can help you with your individual needs. Do you have a question on skin health? Post your question in the comments below. And want to move a little more? Maybe eat a little better or be a bit more mindful? We've got you covered. Subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified when new videos are released.